salutations young friends and old friends every age is welcome here so i have the coffee shakes because i've managed to completely destroy my sleeping pattern by staying up till three and then waking up at 11 which if you know me i literally wake up at seven or eight every single day without fail without an alarm so my life is slowly dismantling around me but basically i'm a mess right now i got a lot of things happening but one of those things i'm excited about that i'm doing is this new series like i'm gonna stick to a schedule i'm gonna do it if i tell myself i'm speaking into existence this is gonna be an episode released every saturday and it's a series that i am calling if harry potter was a vlogger has a ring to it doesn't it so i can't actually take all the credit for this idea it was a wait where's my phone i need to i need to shout out to this this person i had a lot of comments on my recent sketch videos being like make this a series like do a harry potter vlog situation um and then i got a dm on instagram from constantina elia amazing name saying like you should really do like a harry potter vlogging series and then sent me a screenshot of this tweet which is by real underscore asherlock which is harry potter if he was a vlogger and it's like seven things of like titles to do with like if harry potter was a vlogger it's like i killed my professor like how to survive a basilisk attack so i saw this and so um this isn't like my og idea but i don't know if anyone on youtube has actually done it physically or if it's just been spoken about online um so i wanted to make it like a thing and make it into an actual series so thank you for everyone that commented thank you so much for the dm and for the tips and hints of what i should do so most of the videos will not have like an intro like this i'm just gonna go straight in as if i was harry potter who has learned how to vlog um but i thought i would do an introductory segment to this video to let you know what this whole thing was going to be about sorry my voice is rather hoarse i have been practicing singing hold my hand by jess glynn which i have to sing an audition on monday which is so not what I can sing and I'm going to embarrass myself but um, I I'm unemployed and an actor and need jobs so I'm going for every audition that I get called for at the moment I don't know how long this series is gonna be I guess until I run out of ideas um, I have like written out in my trusty notebook a bunch of like I've sort of planned for the next couple of episodes today is like Harry chilling killing starting his vlogging channel living under the stairs and hi if you're new around here everybody even say hi i've got a bunch of new subscribers recently so hey sup welcome to the chaos of this channel please go check out my previous videos i've got some really exciting stuff happening in the next couple of weeks um some collabs some cool things it's gonna be fun i'm gonna schedule a bunch of videos so that way i don't have a hiatus again throughout august when i'm um work doing my national youth theater course but basically youtube is what's keeping me going at the moment because like i said unemployed actress oh also sorry this is turned into me updating you about my life which no one really cares about basically um i'm very nervous because tomorrow i'm doing my first ever performance of spoken word poetry which is very nerve-wracking for me i'm very scared oh i guess by the time this video goes up which will be on saturday it will be already done and over by a day but i did tweet about it so if any of you guys want to come please come along and support me because i'm very scared i've never performed my poetry out loud before but this will obviously be going up after that's happened so if i've recorded it and you guys are interested let me know if you'd like to see some of some footage from my spoken word performance um because i guess it'd be quite nice to share some of that stuff on this channel but i, I know that's not what a lot of you guys are here for so anyway i've gone on long enough let's turn into harry potter and start vlogging see you guys in a bit bye hey guys welcome to my channel my name's harry i'm 11 and i thought i would start making youtube videos because i don't really have any other friends and i stole this camera from dudley my cousin he sort of broke it but i managed to fix it so i thought i'd just start sort of like vlogging my life see what happened it's not very eventful sometimes these weird things happen to me like i'll make things disappear or like end up on a school roof but in my head they're just normal things and i must have been caught by the wind because that makes complete and total sense for me to end up on a roof just from like running and jumping in the air to hide behind some bins sometimes weird things happen but i like i'm just like a totally normal kid really also my parents are dead 
So for this first video, I'd give like a room tour. My uncle and aunt and my cousin um, are going to like a work function thing. And so um, I have the house to myself, but they don't really like me leaving the cupboard. So I thought I'd just come out here to sort of show you the outside of my cupboard. We've got a handy sign on here that says cupboard under the stairs in this like cool font that I've never seen before. It's an interesting font. Anyway, welcome to this is where I like sleep and stuff. There's not a lot of space. Actually, I lied when I said I didn't have any friends. My friend Sammy the spider lives under here with me. And I don't know if it's the same spider that I've always had because spiders die quite quickly. I'm friends with them because we like all share a living space, you know, it's like having a roommate, I guess. So it's quite hard to sort of show you in here because it's it's quite small, but so I have to move the washing basket and the ironing board. But once you're in, like it's okay really. It's actually, it's quite cozy once you're inside. This is, I kind of tend to sleep sort of standing up really it's um it's not too bad and if i do get really tired i lay down the ironing board and sleep on that and also they keep all the dirty washing in here so if i really get cold i can just sort of like make a bed for myself these are like in my head i like to think of them as my toys Most of them are just kind of household objects but i don't have toys so when i like to play things like um i pretend that like this is a person and this is a person make them have like fights or take them on adventures and stuff this one's called bluey because it's blue and this one's called soft baby because there's a picture of a soft baby on it and they like go on adventures and solve crimes and stuff it's, it's quite fun and then this right here the iron is like the villain he's hot and sometimes comes and like makes hot <sighs> Burns people, that's that. If I ever get hungry, I do have snacks in it because quite often, some of them my stupid aunt and uncle do all the time is um, if I make things happen, which uh, like I said, it happens quite a lot and I don't really know how because I'm very untalented in every other in every other way. So one time, for example, there's a bit of a story time happening here. My aunt cut all my hair off because she wanted to hide this scar that I got in a car crash with my parents. She like cut all my hair off because my hair gets kind of crazy sometimes. And then she just left my fringe to cover my scar, which was so not cool. Anyway, the next morning I woke up and my hair had fully grown back. I don't know what happened. I must have super quick growing hair. It'd be a genetic thing because I'm like, I, I wonder if my parents had really fast growing hair. Okay, I got locked in here for like a really long time without food and to stop myself from dying because that can happen when you don't have food. I also have cat biscuits and cat food which is kept in here and I don't think the Dursleys know that I would eat it because otherwise they wouldn't keep it in here because they'll know that I'll use it to survive. You get used to the taste after a while and like a calorie is a calorie you know. Sometimes they keep spare um spare sauces so like this is some mayo and i've now like sometimes i just like open it up and squeeze it in my mouth because like when you need when you need the substance you need the substance it's kind of like a last resort for me i'd rather have the cat food and then when i start to like really think i'm gonna pass out i have the mayo because it's like high calorie high fat keeps the energy going sometimes they also keep like potatoes and onions and stuff but they're not very good raw so I'll try and take you a little bit further inside um so down here we have like some extra bags and stuff and this can be quite comfy i often come here if i want to like do some reading or like chill out a bit this is like my relaxation zone like this is my sleeping zone like here next to next to this, this is my sleeping zone this is my relaxation zone if i want to like read a book that i've stolen from dudley's room or um got from school or whatever because there's like lots of bags and stuff which can be can be quite comfy that's that's the entire that's that's my room the floor is kind of i'll try and show you the floor because sometimes it gets super uncomfortable because it's like kind of hard i bother putting like um carpet down there's like a little mat there but the rest is like concrete so it kind of gets a bit a bit uncomfortable but like i'm grateful that i have it because it could be worse like I got left um, with my aunt and uncle when my parents died um, and apparently they left me on a doorstep like the people that collected me from the car wreck they left me on a doorstep which like I could have very easily died that night because it seems like a really unsafe way to look after a kid. I was only one years old so I couldn't have really fought anyone off if like people came to I don't know hurt me in the night. I'm just lucky to be alive. I don't feel too bad you know I take what I've got and I'm hoping this video will like get popular because 
I saw a bunch of stuff on YouTube recently of like people living in vans and things, which is like, I live in a small space, I can make that work. People like small spaces when they're not living in it and they're watching other people live in it. So that was my bedroom tour and, um, and also my living room tour and also my house tour and kitchen tour. And bathroom tour. See, I don't want to go there because it's kind of crude, but I use, um, there's like a Tupperware in there when I need to go bathroom and they won't let me out because sometimes they lock me in here, like with a key. So I can't leave, which is kind of annoying when I need to pee. But yeah, so um, I'm probably going to have to, I don't know why I'm closing the door because I'm going to have to go back in there. I think, I think the Dursleys are back. If they find out I'm out of my thing, they're going to be pissed. Right, okay, I'm going to have to go. Goodbye. Um, subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.